Hey guys, Devin1994 here, and welcome to Mod Monday, episode number 13. And today we're going to be covering the Extended Workbench mod. And this is a mod that a whole bunch of extended weapons, uh, such as the Extended Diamond Pickaxe. <laughs> I don't know, there's a whole bunch of things. Uh, but yeah, let's check it out, guys. Okay, so welcome to the Extended Workbench mod. So as you can see right here, I have a whole bunch of new things in my inventory that you've probably never seen before. Uh, so I have an extended diamond sword, an extended diamond shovel, extended diamond pickaxe, extended diamond axe, and an extended diamond hoe. And then I've got an extended bow, an extended fishing rod, and an extended flint and steel. And yeah, oh, and some shears. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I have to make extended shears. I'll do that in a minute. Um, oh, yes, and I have uh, extended armor on. So, yeah. Um, so, basically, uh, all the extended stuff is, uh, you know, it's just, it makes everything better, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so, the sword, for example, it, uh, it does 100% more damage, has 50% more uses, and mines 50 per er, blocks 50% faster than a normal slow or sword. Uh, so, you know, that means like, um, what's it called, uh, cobwebs or spiderwebs, um, and, uh, you know, this doesn't mean that you can use it as a pickaxe, though, you still have to use it for what it's designed to use on, so, like, if I try to break this, it won't do that, like, 50% faster, uh, just like, um, what it's meant to do, so, yeah, and then, uh, here I've got the shovel, so this is a tool, uh, an extended tool, so it mines blocks 100% faster, so, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty fast. It's just basically a tap, almost. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it has 50% uh, more damage than or when using as a weapon. So if I hit, like, you know, a pig, so let's, let's just get a pig, you know. Uh, and then, you know, hit a shovel with the pig, whatever. What? Hit the pig with a shovel, not the shovel with the pig. Um, fail. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then the last thing is, um, oh, there is no more things, sorry. Uh, and those three things go with, uh, the pickaxe as well, and the axe, uh, so, you know, um, it'll, it'll cut down trees a lot faster. And, uh, yeah. And then you got the extended hoe. So the extended hoe has, uh, 200% more uses, so you can pretty much use this thing forever, it seems. Uh, and um, it creates farmland that will uh, take longer to turn back into dirt. So as you can see, like I'm, I'm walking on it and stuff, and, and it's not turning back yet. Uh, and yeah, so that's kind of the extended tools. Um, yeah, so there's the extended bow, and I should probably get some arrows for the bow. That would be a, probably a good idea. So let's just get some arrows. Um, yes. All right, so the extended bow. It, uh, it shoots arrows 50% faster, and you can, like, supercharge this thing. Check this out. It, it goes, like, red. Boom! It's like a super shot. Uh, so, yeah, you can shoot them 50% faster. Or, yeah. So they shoot pretty fast. Um, and it has 50% more uses, and uh, it needs 20% longer to charge. So uh, you might get... You might get those more powerful shots and faster shots, but they take a little bit longer to charge. But you do get that like supercharge for holding it for four seconds. Oh yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, and it makes the arrows uh, fly twice as fast, but it slowly damages the bow. Uh, so yeah, and and then we have the uh, super extended fishing rod, and it catches fishes 20% faster. I don't have any water. I really should have went. And Found some water, um, but yeah, it catches fishes 20% uh, faster. I think that's really good because normally fishes take way too long to catch. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, it'll catch them faster, and it has 50% more uses, and uh, it throws the hook 50% faster. Apparently, I don't really notice the difference, but apparently there is a difference. So then you got the, uh, the extended flint and steel, and I'm just gonna quickly turn it to sunrise so that we get the daylight. And uh, yeah, this uh, has the ability to set mobs on fire. So before you could kind of like you could set under them on fire, but now you can literally just set them on fire. <laughs> Sounds pretty neat. Um, and then yeah, it has 50% more uses, which is good because flint and steel normally it just 
it dies out too quick. And uh, check that out. We got some cooked meat because we <laughs> cooked them alive. Oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> um, but yeah, and uh, it creates fire that burns twice as long as normal fire. So that's pretty sweet. And uh, there's one more thing here. I'm going to have to find it. Oh, yes, the extended shears. So the... Uh, The extended shears, uh, they mine blocks 50% faster, have 50% more uses, and get 100% more wool from sheep. So, uh, let's just, you know, spawn a sheep. Um, a sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. There we go. Oh, hold on. So, there's our sheep. Boom. Oh, that didn't give me very much. It only gave me one. Ah, oh, there we go. I got five. No, six. Okay, that was good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, and I'm gonna throw up all of the um, crafting recipes as I. I'm probably gonna throw those in as I like show the weapon. Um, and so yeah. And oh, I should really show how to make an extended uh, workbench. So you just basically you take one workbench and then take another. And then it gives you the big extended workbench. And just for example, I'm going to get, uh, where are the diamonds? D -d -d diamonds. I don't even know where the diamonds are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I found the diamonds. <laughs> okay. So, uh, like, you know, there's extended boots. Um, you know, uh, geez, I don't know. Whatever, I'll have all the crafting recipes up. Um, you know, like, I think this is one to the chest plate. Yeah. So it's just a little bit bigger, you know. Um, and you might have noticed for this one, like, that could fit on a normal crafting bench, but it has to be made on an extended crafting bench. Because, uh, like, here, I'll just show you. It just doesn't work. See? doesn't work you have to use the extended one to uh, get the extended tools and armor so yeah that's pretty much it I suppose and uh, well uh, thanks for watching and yeah that's about it so now on to the tutorial portion of the video all right welcome to the tutorial so the first thing you're gonna want to do is of course go into your minecraft force your update and then log in and we'll update your minecraft and I'm not gonna explain why because I do every week um, so yeah that'll finish in a minute hurry up come on come on and then close it open it back up <laughs> go to options go to game location on disk move that over to the side Okay, so now open up your um, browser and well you already got your browser open So click the link in the description. It will take you to the minecraft forum for the extended workbench mod And uh, you just want to scroll on down Scroll 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 to where it says download and installation So you're gonna need three things you're gonna need the mod loader minecraft forge and of course the mod uh, so you'll want to click the latest version for the latest version of Minecraft. It will take you to an ad fly link and you'll just want to wait five seconds as always. And then click skip ad and it will download right away. And then go back to the Minecraft forum page where the download and installation tab is. And uh, then click where it says uh, install mod loader. It'll take you to the Rizugami's mods page. You want to scroll down to where it says mod loader and download direct and then go back again to the extended work bunch uh, page and click on install Minecraft Forge. It will take you to the Minecraft Forge website where you can find the direct download by clicking client. And I'm not going to download it because I already have it downloaded and it's on my desktop. So now that you, uh, now that you got them downloaded, see they're on my desktop, um, and we have the Minecraft folder open, you want to open the bin folder, then open the Minecraft.jar with WinRAR or whatever the hell you use. Um, and then, oh my goodness, click, uh, click, click, <laughs> click uh, on MetaInf and delete it. 
And once it's downloaded, uh, just open up the mod loader um, that we downloaded and select everything and drag it over into the minecraft.jar. Close it out. Open up the Minecraft Forge zip file that we uh, downloaded. Select everything and drag it all over. And last but not least, uh, open up the extended workbench mod page thing, what page, uh, zip that we downloaded and uh, select everything and drag it on over. And that is it. So it should be installed. Let's just test it out. So we'll open up Minecraft. And dude, that's really loud. Um, and, and, and boom. Yes, and I am floating above the sky. Okay. But yes. So I have the items and it all is good. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed or if this helped you, uh, please do leave a rating and or a favorite. That would be greatly appreciated. And thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.